Jubilee Farm, another farm school. We've got great weather this week. It's sunny, it's warm. It's about time to go outside and garden. We've gotten a few questions on uh, how to make a garden. And uh, to be honest, I'm not much of a gardener. Um, I'm, uh, you know, there's a little difference between farming and gardening, but um, most people have basic tools around the house, like a shovel. Um, this is uh, pretty much all you need to start a garden. You don't plant a garden in one day, you got to start with soil preparation. So once you've kind of figured out where you want your garden to be, where it gets good sunlight and all that, you got you to gotta turn the soil over so any grass or weeds or whatever there, the roots can kind of die back and the, and the tops can kind of die back. So if I were making a garden right here, from kind of pretending this is a lawn, I would uh, dig. You know, you kind of dig and you turn. So you kind of turn the grass upside down. And you can do it, you know, in a row. Oops. You know, so I would, I would just kind of pick a little section. And I want to kind of chop up the soil a little bit. It lets it kind of dry up. And it kind of kills those roots back. Because the roots are what's holding the ground together. And you want it to be, have, have friability. Which is the ability to kind of pull apart, break apart. So you just kind of work it back. Making a garden is a great thing. We're actually going to be uh, doing our, our plant sale. We're going to be doing more vegetables because a lot of people are interested in planting vegetables right about now. It's kind of a positive way to spend your time and energy making vegetables in your own land. So we're going to plant some trays so people can come and once they've turned their garden, they can, uh, they can plant a few veggies. So obviously, you know, that would take a while to kind of to kind of do on a big scale, shoveling and turning and kind of breaking the ground apart. So we have um, a tractor over here, and this is how I do it on, on kind of the farm scale. And this tractor right here is pulling a disc. Helps you get the, the ground ready for, um, for planting. And this happens in a lot of steps. So, um, the, uh, you know, the first thing you might do if the, if the grass is really tall is plow and then disc, but Right here, the, the, the grass is fairly short, so I'm just going to hop on and I'll show you a little bit about how the disc works. So the disc rolls through the ground and cuts with these blades and it kind of chops the ground like I was doing with the shovel, but at a much faster scale. It's got a hydraulic that lifts it up. Lowers it, and that's pretty much how it works. And I just drag it up and down the fields. 